Hey everyone, today I will be showing you all how to obtain honey using the beehive and exploring its various uses. We'll also discuss whether spending 100 gems for a beehive is even worth it. Alright, so let's dive right in. First, let's take a look at the beehives. As you can see, they have these tiny swarms of bees flying around them, which is very cute and adds a nice touch. Although it's not necessary, you can place these flowers next to the beehives to create a visually pleasing environment. It would be cool if bees actually required flowers to produce honey, but that's not the case. I've added them here for the aesthetics. Now on the bottom of the beehive, you can see some honey which is ready to be collected, so let's gather it all up. Each beehive produces 8 honey with an 8 hour wait time. Also, I wouldn't recommend selling the honey as they only sell for 100 coins, which is really not worth it. So from 4 beehives, we gathered a total of 32 honey. Now before we move on, let me show you where you can purchase the beehives. Go into build mode, then navigate to shop and select functional. You should find a beehive available for 100 gems. Now it's not necessary to buy the beehives right away so don't worry if you don't want to spin your gems immediately. However, there are some pretty cool perks you can enjoy by using honey and I'll be sharing those with you right now. Alright, so honey can be used while cooking. There are a few meals that provide useful boost. For instance, this recipe that requires two honey, golden eggs, flour, butter, and milk, which makes a golden cake that offers an economy boost of two. I'll be testing this recipe shortly. Another recipe includes egg, mangoes, two honey, flour, and butter, which gives a mango crumb bar that provides a tool speed boost of two. I'll also be testing this one. There are a few other recipes such as the coconut pie, but unfortunately it's locked for me at the moment. There's also a recipe that requires grilled swordfish, mangoes, blue spice, and five honey, giving a swordfish stew. Lastly, there's a recipe that uses a grilled great white shark, honey, blue spice, and coconuts creating the great white stew with an economy boost of three. Unfortunately, this recipe is still locked for me. All right, now let's put these boosts to the test. I'll be trying out the tool speed boost by eating the mango crumb bar. And as you can see right here, it lasts for 20 minutes. All right, I assume this boost works with all of these tools down here. So let's try them out. Let's first try the wood cutting. So let's chop down this tree. And uh, I'm not really sure. Let me try it again. I guess it is kind of faster. Pretty fast. Okay. Um, all right. Now let's mine some ore and see if it's any fast. Do this. All right. Yeah, that's much more faster. Okay. Let's see if we can find another ore. Um... All right, let's cut this silver right here. And yeah, that's much more faster, which is awesome. All right, now let's use the scythe and let's cut down this grass and see how fast it is. Oh, wow, that's really fast. Ooh, I like that. Okay, that's awesome. And now we can cut grass super fast. <laughs> All right, that's awesome. All right, I like this. Good. All right, now let's use the cultivator and see if we can cultivate fast. Eh, yeah, it's pretty quick. It's all right. It's not that bad. All right, that's cool. All right, nice. Um, so yeah, this this boost is pretty cool. It does make your tools go faster, which is awesome. Now let's try the golden cake. Um, so the golden cake is does the economy boost. So let's go travel to the town so we can sell some stuff. All right. Um, before we eat it, we're gonna see how much coins we can get before using the golden cake. So let's talk to Tom. Uh, with a cell and then let's see how much we can get from these pumpkins i got about 200 pumpkins which give 59,400 coins before the boost so let's eat the cake and see what, how much we will get now all right and you can see it lasts for 20 minutes let's sell the pumpkins and we do get more we get about like i guess like 10 10 000 more which is pretty neat so that boost is really useful i really would really recommend using this boost that's awesome all right we'll sell those and yeah let's travel back to my farm real quick and yeah that's pretty much it for this video now would i recommend buying a beehive 
Uh, the answer is yes, at least one beehive. You don't need as much as I have, but I do think beehives are pretty useful and I do have a feeling that they will have a bigger use in the future. So yeah, it's totally up to you if you guys want it or not. Uh, it's very cute as well. <laughs> so yeah, so thanks for watching. Be sure to let me know down in the comments what you think about the beehives and I will see you all again later.